It was a Derby Day murder, and the case is still open. Today, we're exploring a case that shocked the nation. A father's greed and desire for fame led him to commit a heinous act, killing his own children. We'll examine the twisted tale of Mick Philpot, a man who saw his children as nothing more than a means to a paycheck. Mick Philpot was a master manipulator, using his charm to exploit those around him. Born in 1956 in Derby, England, he fathered 17 children with multiple women, but showed no nurturing qualities, only a toxic pattern of behavior. His first relationship at 19 with Kim Hill started with charm, but quickly turned abusive. He would use any excuse to harm her, even beating her in public. In 1978, Kim sent Philpot a breakup letter, and he responded by stabbing her 27 times with a 9-inch knife. Philpot continued his abusive behavior, marrying Pamela LX after his release from prison and beginning a relationship with 14-year-old Heather Keogh in 1993. He taught his older sons to be violent against her, and Heather eventually escaped and regained custody of her children after a long court battle. In 2000, Philpot met 19-year-old Marae Duffy, a single teenage mother who had recently left an abusive relationship. He became her guardian angel and proposed to her in hospital after the birth of their first child. He also began a relationship with Lisa Willis, a 16-year-old orphan and single mother. Philpot married Maraid in 2003 with Lisa as the bridesmaid. He lived with both women and had 11 children in a three-bedroom council house. Both women worked while he remained unemployed, collecting their earnings and government benefits. He actively tried to have more children to increase his benefit payments. Philpot publicly defended his lifestyle, expressing pride in his large family and dismissing critics. However, behind closed doors, tensions between the trio had reached boiling point. In February 2012, Lisa finally left Philpot, taking her five children with her. Three months later, Philpot was still seething with anger and entangled in a rough custody battle. He, along with Maraid and a family friend, Paul Mosley, planned to burn down their home with their own children inside and frame Lisa for it. The arson was scheduled for the day before a custody hearing between Lisa and Philpot. He wanted his children back, motivated by his greed for more benefit payments and the potential to get an even bigger council house. However, the plan went tragically wrong, resulting in the deaths of six children. The police investigation found forensic evidence linking Philpot and his wife Murray to the crime. They were found guilty of manslaughter and received prison sentences. Philpot received a life sentence with a minimum of 15 years, while Murray and Mosley received 17-year sentences with a minimum of eight and half a years to be served. The case was described as horrific, and many people felt that the sentences were too light. Philpot was characterized as a monster who viewed children primarily as a source of income. Psychologist Glenn Wilson described him as clinically a psychopath and exhibitionist with antisocial personality disorder. In conclusion, the Mick Philpot case serves as a chilling reminder of the devastating consequences of greed, manipulation, and domestic abuse. Join us next time on True Crime Documentary for another gripping case.